Good morning, Isabel. What brings you here? What do you want to see change that would be good for you? Good morning. I have trouble sleeping. I have headaches, a lot of anxiety, and fear since I was in a car accident where a driver hit my car. I don't dare drive anymore. I feel insecure, powerless, and alone. Then, I am fully aware that there is no real reason since the accident happened three years ago. I have done different types of talk therapy, which helped me understand a lot of things, but I still have this irrational fear inside. I am on the lookout for everything. I stay at home. I can't drive anymore. But I have always been anxious, ever since I was a child, for no apparent reason. When you think about this emotional charge that's activating you now on a scale of zero to 10, what's the number? And where does it affect you the most in your body? My fear is at eight out of 10. That's not true because it's 12. It's suffocating me. I feel tension and pain in my shoulders, and I have a knot in my solar plexus. You are useless and pitiful. You will never succeed in. You are alone like an idiot. I also notice now that your eyes are going to the left and uh, a little up. It's your fault as usual. There were other streets to go on to the same place. You are incapable. Nobody will love you. You are very courageous and brave to have put up with all this for three years. You are not guilty. It is that reckless driver who's at fault. He ran the red light. I understand that you are still afraid, even now. Yes, it's true. Finally, a professional who understands you. You did well to come here and not listen to those who attack you. You don't need to feel guilty anymore, like mom used to make you feel guilty. Nobody listens to me. Nobody loves me. I want candy and chocolate. It will make me feel better. I notice that your eyes go to the right and down a bit. I understand that your compulsive desire for chocolate and candy helps you regulate by calming you down. It is like your anti-anxiety medicine. Yes, that's exactly right. But I can't control it. I don't want to get fat. I suggest you do some brain spotting therapy for yourself and the different parts of you that are suffering. And I think I can teach your brain how to free all of yourself from that, from that suffering of the past, so that you can drive your life. Because now it's 2021. How wonderful. He understood. You did well to come. He seems experienced. I'm not sure. Leave right away because it will be the same thing again, just like your psychoanalysis and CBT sessions. That's not true. I'll finally be able to have fun, be happy, and free. The direction of your gaze affects how you feel. BSP is primarily a subcordial therapy. The practitioner will have previously provided psychoeducation to his patient on the brain and basic physiology. The practitioner will ask the patient to focus on the end of the rod or pointer when the spot of this location corresponds to her problem. Traumatic event will be found. The patient will focus on activating her neural network while sitting in the consulting room. Some recent or past scenes may emerge. Those that were blocked at the time of the trauma can come to the surface in different forms as images, sounds, sensations, going back to a very early time in the patient's life, which may have never come to his consciousness until now. Let what comes spontaneously come as thoughts, images, feelings, memories from the past, body sensations, without trying to master or control, without trying to relax, nor help the process, without reacting to your reactions. On a scale of zero to 10, your activation is at what? Eight. And where do you feel it most in your body? In the solar plexus. It's a big ball. I'm going to ask you to follow my finger or pointer, which will move slowly, horizontally from your eyes from left to right. And I will stop on the pointer spot that activates the most. Yes, it's there. Very well. Let what comes spontaneously come. Without trying to do anything to control and master or even to help the process without interpreting, do not try to react to your reaction.
Go with that and see where it takes you. I do not understand. The anxiety decreased. I saw different scenes of my life very quickly where I was shocked and hurt. It just came back to me. A moment from my childhood when I was 10 years old, when I was assaulted by mean schoolgirls and a boy who wanted to grope me. Yes, continue with this. I feel the release, and my body is relaxed now. When you feel this relaxation in your body, how does your mind feel now? My mind is light. I feel calm. And it's weird. I don't have a headache anymore. When you feel that calmness and your body is relaxed, do you feel more secure in yourself now? Oh, yes. It feels weird, this new sensation. Take a good long time to feel your sensations that your body is feeling and go with that. When working using the Structural Disassociation of Personality Model in BSP, it will be essential to consider that throughout the work, activation and integration will occur simultaneously and in a non-cognitive manner. The patient will be able to express his change after these different activations or verbalize the relaxation and release inside his body. There will also be a calming of his thoughts. This is done in full awareness in the present moment to facilitate integration.